the changes in, with the crew? Yeah, I mean, obviously, and I think he's April or sometime in April, they're making the change there. I mean, you know, Mark's been there a long, long time, and, you know, I don't know all the dynamics that are going on, uh, but certainly, you know, I, in the three years I worked with them, it was it was a good experience and, uh, you know, culminated with an MLS Cup, so uh, it was an experience that ended well for us. Is this matchup with the crew a little different than maybe years past where there was still some, some ties to your times there where now it seems like, I don't know if there's anyone left really from from when you were there. Yeah, I was trying. I was just trying to think. The only, the only guy might be the team administrator, you know. So, uh, so I might have to slide tackle him when he's sitting <laughs> on the bench, just for old time's sake. But Tucker's, no, Tucker's no good. If I buy him a beer, he'll be happier. <laughs> so I'll do that. Uh, no, it's uh, you know. I mean, obviously, anytime just for a player when you've played for a club before, there's always a little bit of special feeling when you when you play against them. And same when you coach against them. But, you know, Greg's done a, a good job with the team. You know, they've gotten two good results, one at home and one on the road. And, uh, you know, so we'll see how it goes. What have they done to get those results? Uh, they've, they've done a good job offensively of holding on to the ball, you know, and then their philosophy has been to hold on to the ball. And, uh, you know, so we got to make sure uh, that, that we keep our fair share of the ball as well this weekend. And uh, obviously, uh, uh, Higo Wien, who didn't play against us last year, you know, is a very good player, very dangerous player. He's a, he's a, he's a number 10 who's got a lot of freedom in their system now to go all over the place and find different spaces on the field. And he's a guy you got to know where he's at because he can create things for them, you know, off the play. And he's also very good on set pieces. With Leo getting closer to, to full health, is, has your thinking at all changed in, in how he fits in and how, what have you thought of Dylan's play, I guess? I, I think Dylan's played played well. You know, I think he's played well. I thought Leo came off the bench and played well and helped us also. And uh, you know, I think uh, as I said, I think he's he's very very close. It's just a matter of of minutes right now for Leo as well. So uh, you know, I think they'll they'll both play a role this weekend. Teammates have been raving about what Chad Marshall brings. Does he kind of see the same in his kind of first few games too? You know, Chad's uh, you know worked with Chad before and he's a quality defender and. The thing is, you know, he also brings a calmness, you know, to your team and in the back, you know, he doesn't, when you look at him, doesn't look like he's going to panic. He's a big guy and uh, so you feel, uh, you know, everybody relaxes a little bit and, uh, you know, relaxes in a good way in that they feel, okay, the cross is going to come, chances are Chad's going to win this. You know, here's a high ball, well, Chad's going to win this and, uh, you know, it just makes your, your game, uh, you know, you become a little more comfortable uh, in terms of uh, secure of what he's going to be able to bring in. It seems like the main criticism, I guess, of him, I think it was what Kyle Martino was broadcasting, maybe motivation kind of at the end of his run of the career. Do you think that's fair? Uh, you know, I think whenever you've been at a place for a long time, maybe a change of scenery is is good for you. I mean, uh, for me, Chad, you know, and I said it back, I said it back in 2007 and 2008. I think he's a player who, uh, when you look at the U.S. national team, he's, he's a center back who's been overlooked. Uh, you know, I think his quality is comparable to center backs that are that are in the national team pool right now. Uh, I think his quality is better than some guys who've been called in, uh, in at other circumstances. But he also had a bad run. There were a few times when when I was coaching him where he would get called into the January camp and he had to get his knee cleaned out or he had a ankle surgery one time, so that took him out of those January camps. And, uh, you know, people didn't turn to him again for that opportunity. But I, for me, uh, he's, he's a quality center back, uh, as good as any center back in this league. With a new goalie and some new faces in the back, has it come together maybe quicker than you thought it would? Kind of the cohesiveness of that group, or how's that kind of going? Uh, you know, the players have been talking to each other a lot. They know that they're new to each other, so sometimes that's a good thing because they talk more and uh, and they help organize each other. But I, I think Stefan Fry's done well. I think Jimmy Jimmy has stepped up uh, as well. You know, playing there and him and Chad have been have been a good combination. You know, Remix come in and done adequately as well on the left hand side. So you got some youth on the outside and guys who can who can run the line. You got some experience in the middle and you know guys have been through this thing before. So it's not you know it's not their first rodeo as they say. How's Brad doing, and what role will he serve tomorrow or Saturday? Uh, we'll see. You know, he did better. He did more today at training. Uh, you know, we had him go. He was in the 11 v 11, and then uh, we wanted him just to go a certain amount of minutes, and then we pulled him out of that. Uh, so, so we'll see how how he recovers tomorrow.
How would you describe your depth at center mid? It seems like you have a you know a bunch of guys with experience there. Yeah, and it's what we want to have. We want to have competition at at every position, you know. So you've got uh, you know you've got obviously Andy Rose who can play there. You got Michael Lazaro can play there. You got Alonzo. You got Pineda. You got Evans. Uh, so uh, you know it's it's good options to have and. Especially because some of those guys, you know, I think are flexible too. They can play different places. You know, Chad, uh, Brad, Brad can play different places for us. Azira can play different places as well. Does it allow you to do get more? I don't know, creative or allow you to do different things formationally when you have that many guys that can play in the middle? It's, you know, you're always trying to get the best group of players on the field and the best players that you can get on the field and you know last week in Montreal when we decided that we wanted to go with maybe three midfielders per se you know we we had we had enough depth that we could do that do you think mid is Azira's best position or is that just where he can help this particular club right now no I think midfield's his best position yes this is your last uh, home game before the three game road stretch what do you need to see out of the team to make sure you're off on the right foot well, we want to get three points, you know. We were disappointed, obviously, in our last home game. You know, I thought we did a good job of carrying the game and possessing uh, the ball and doing things, but we gave up uh, a couple of goals that we really shouldn't have. And, uh, you know, we got to make sure we avoid that. And, uh, you know, we want to get three points out of this last home game.